Hey guys, I'm here to do a review on what I believe to be the best uh, half day pack on the market. It is the REI Stoke 19. Um, this pack falls into the category of um, a half day pack. You can use it for a lot of different things. Um, I have it packed with some of the things that I would um, use on on a uh, half day excursion of uh, hiking and uh, we'll get right into that so um, first off um, I want to talk about a few applications that you can use it for um, one being hiking obviously another being uh, commuting it actually has um, some reflective patches on it um, that are visible at night when light shines on it um, and let's see here get to my notes um, and another thing uh, that I use it for is actually um, on airplanes uh, I use it as my personal item and um, have never had a complaint about it so uh, I use this as well as my carry-on and uh, no issues there so um, some of the features on this bag are it's lightweight and flexible. I believe it weighs one pound and two ounces, which is extremely light. And uh, I think there is an elite uh, biker, uh, bicyclist, that said for every pound you add, you slow your uh, climb down, your bike climb, uh, 15 to 20 seconds per mile. So that does translate somehow into uh, climbing or hiking, but I'm not sure exactly how. Um, it's got uh, two ice axe loops, which you can use for other things uh, as well. I'm not sure what you'd use them for, but um, just in case you don't know uh, how to use these, you would take your ice axe and put the head through and then twist your axe around and then fold the handle up. And there's also some bungee cords um, that you, uh, you attach the handle to. So. You could also use these, uh, but there's two bungees right here, and you can use these for uh, trekking poles too. Um, this pack also has a, a mesh breathable uh, pouch that you could stuff things in while you're climbing. Uh, I typically will use this when I uh, start out and I get too hot and I'll stuff my jacket down in here, uh, or if I know I'm gonna need something um, later in the hike. I'll just put it in this pack so I can get it out and not have to worry about um, unzipping the main pouch and digging through uh, whatever I would need. It also has two side mesh pouches um, on either side. It's got um, um, straps, compression straps, so you can uh, cinch down and um, compress the strap or compress the bag. And um, it has on um, the hip belt. It actually has two, two. Um, <laughs> it's my iPhone. It's got two um, pouches in the hip belt. So um, I'm just going to show you a couple things that I put in these. I put my phone, uh, which is also has a camera, and it's got a um, my MP3 player on it too. And then I carry a small knife, and then you can carry some goo gel, and um, you know, like a power bar or something. The back of the, the bag also has um, a breathable, soft, padded um, back, and I really like this because it sits right on your back, and even if you get hot, it actually breathes really well and is flexible. So if you're climbing up or bouldering or doing something like that, it, it really stays tight to your back, which you want. Um, you don't want something that's flopping around um, away from your back because it throws off your center of gravity. Um, so you also have a sternum strap with an integrated whistle, which I really like. Um, and uh, let's get into the to the um, pouches. You got one small pouch that you can put uh, some small items like your uh, first aid kit, um, and then you got a bigger pouch this is the main pouch which I like to carry a uh, zippable um, hoodie and um, 
I also put a, um, a waterproof uh, thin ultralight shell uh, to block the wind and if it decides to rain. And I also have, um, let's see, there's also a um, pouch to put a water reservoir. And this is a three liter platypus, which I really like. And um, it's big enough to accommodate that. So um, it also has this little hanger that you can clip onto your uh, water pouch to keep it from uh, collapsing on itself and, and then not working. So that's about it, guys. Um, this is a great bag and I uh, really like it. It's what I consider to be the, uh, the little brother of this bag, which is the Osprey uh, or the Talon 33 made by Osprey. I also did a review on it. This is a great bag, too. Uh, a little bit bigger and you're going to use this more for uh, full day hikes and you can see that review right here in the uh, annotation. So um, that's all I've got. If you have any questions feel free to post them and I'll get right back to you.